Good morning. I get crazy amount of DMs, um, regular texts, WhatsApp message. People want to hear what my office say about the current situation. We are going in the Jamaica entertainment circle, which involves um this Chinese girl and Richie Stevens and um Tanya Stevens and a so called person where rape her, abuse her, whatever but I don't know who that person is. So I wake up this morning and I decide to say um I'm going to look into it a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to see what my office is. You know what I mean? Um, we just finished watch one half hour or something, or about 20 minutes something, with um, <clears throat> the artist. Yesterday, I watch one something with a little Chinese girl. That would, I remember how long that was, but I watched that yesterday. And I sit down and I analyze. First thing more, I say, me, personally, not a big nobody in an interview. Me, personally, not a look no cloth. Me, personally, already viral. Me, personally, already dominate the internet so all of that can be put aside now cloud chasing now go on yes. see the people that on the internet concern i want to hear my opinion on the whole situation right so you know me that you to speak on a lot of things Speak on social commentary, entertainment, international affairs, all kind of thing. We talk, we, we reason on all these things. So it's only expected that the people them are going to want to hear women officer. So it's not any cloud chasing here. Me not have to do that. A viral king attack. Yeah? We, we, we can own the title there and and, and, and speak on that title as a viral king. So, no cloud chasing now go on. But the people seem to value my opinion and value my views and what I have to say on certain situations. True? True? Right, people? All right. So, mega address um what is more evident in front of our eye, right? When we say what more evident and what more in front of our eye, may I speak in terms of the little Chinese girl because she did go out of her way and gave us a name, right? She did call Richie Stevens' name so now we can speak of that situation and speak of it as saying the Chinese girl and Richie Stevens because she did call him name, right? Because this is a very serious, serious situation. You know? No, she's not Japanese. She's Chinese. She, I think she said she had Chinese. See? No. I got reason with you know, and I got reason with you know, from a logical standpoint. You see, in a every single situation, there are two sides to a story.
when I, when I believe that. So in every situation, every single situation, there's two sides to a story or more. I want to believe that. People, me are not talking. You know. Me are not reason. Me want to talk to me. In every situation, there is two sides to a story or more. Yes? Yes? Okay. So, we have heard from this um, Asian girl. And we hear fear story, right? Oh, that pizzle, big of yourself, pizzle. Now me, from the outside looking in, hearing the Asian girl story alone, because me never hear the female artist. Me never hear Tanya. So, me just see something I got up on the internet. And, um, when me do me look at investigation, can be a people that come about it and I say, address this, address this, and who you think? And I say, me not have no time to think. Nobody not going to send my brain scrambling and have me thinking and I turn myself in an idiot like me a lunatic. Me not doing that. Whenever she decide, because she decide to come public with the story, whenever she decide to name a person, then we will put my energy into that. But if she not plan to name the person, then I could have cared zero. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, um, yesterday now, the Asian girl got the distance and named a person. See? So when she named a person in a fear case that changes the whole atmosphere a fear story you understand what i say because me not going to use nothing with the asian girl say to access what go on over the other side because over the other side the artist Tanya Stevens has yet to name somebody i me not going to mad myself with thinking who it is because if you say that much in my views if you have said that much upon the situation might as well tell you who it is she chooses not to tell us who it is for whatever reason so me now I go out of my way to go kill myself to find out and investigate and speculate and point finger to know who she attacked you see me? So, me, me now, me, she, I mean, she had, she had these people and when I asked her, I who and race. So, by right, nobody enough to ask her who, because she didn't want to talk who, she didn't talk who. The Chinese girl or Japanese girl or the Asian girl on the other hand has spoken and she said, Richie Stephen, she attacked. See? Um, that person and him put her have ancestors. Listen to me. Clues don't work. When you are, this is a serious case, you know. And when you implicate people upon them level of thing, you know, no clue business no work, right? So. No clue business no work, right? So. If you are going to speak and speak so strongly, and speak so aggressively and so convincingly and want the belief of the audience because this is not a private matter anymore it's a public matter and it was being spoken on instagram there is no telling me about no clue me not work off on a clue business either you're gonna say a footer do this thing you are on a footer but you can't tell me about clue and me if you come through that and Search and got me never did it. Me never did it. So me in a clue business. Me not go stress myself and and I 
Kai could have them say he's a Christian artist. Okay, which is not a Christian artist. Muda think gluten and stitchy then are Papa son or so he, me not a time for that. If you talk that much, you can tell me then say other person. If you choose not to tell us, then me not have no conclusion. You understand me I say? Me not have no conclusion where Tanya Stevens is concerned. It's just an argument. No conclusion there because she has not named anybody. Alright, it come like what the when the comedian youth same get molested and everybody supposed to be in sympathy with the man. May I watch a thing and I'll know him the name who molest him. Him still a protect who molest him. You understand? So, so that's not a case for me anymore. I don't want to hear. Because if you have to protect who the culprit is by not speaking, then that are your business. You should even tell me. You should even bring it forward. You should involve with them. You understand? Don't involve with if you're not planning to tell me. Who is it about? Then why are you telling me? Why am I seeing this? Why is this public information now? If you are hold back, protect, and guard the culprit, leave me out of it. You understand what I say? Me is just a realistic person. If you are going to come forward and tell me of a situation and it's, it's, it's evil, it's inhumane, it's horrible, it's against the will of everybody, it's the worst thing on earth, then why are you protecting the person with the worst thing on earth? They are not supposed to be protected. You understand what I'm saying? But somebody said, you can't call name because of a lawsuit. Oh, somebody going to sue you if what you're saying is true. That now makes a sense on that type. Because you, the victim, no worry about a lawsuit because you were victimized. You understand what I'm saying? When you not get the drift now. Lawsuit holds no value when you're speaking the truth of being victimized. So, not naming the person can have more than one effect. One, it can mean you're protecting the culprit. Or it can mean, two, your story is not 100% true. So you don't want to call the so-called culprit name because you will you know you will lose a court battle. Or you probably plan to kill the culprit. I don't want nobody to know say. You did call the culprit name. So you are the number one person for them to look for when the culprit dead. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Do you people understand what I'm saying? Wonder if you don't, you don't understand what I'm saying. But you don't get it. If you're still afraid, why come forward with the story upon a public platform like that? I don't think she's afraid. And I watched a video a while ago. She says she's not afraid. You understand? She clearly stated that she's not afraid. And so I said, if she wanted, that person would have been moved off of the face of the earth a long time. But she not deal it on a level. So take out the fear factor. It's not fear. So what is it why you don't want to name the person? You understand what I'm saying? Alright. So, to cut a long story short, me not really want to get into Tanya Stevens' part of the situation because she's not naming anybody. So, it's just merely she talking 
and she just attack. That's what it is basically. You understand what I'm mean, saying? So, not not that for me, um, run with for say. All right, a such man she attack. So the little Chinese girl or Asian girl, she named Richie Stevens as the person in question. Zin, in her case, ka mago sabam now and do an investigation. Zin and. I get for find out say the Chinese girl did make a police report for real. Zin? So when the Chinese girl made the report, based on information we obtained, Richie Stevens was taken to the police station. Zin spent about thirty to thirty two minutes at the station. The police them sent him back in the yard. Say the story wasn't solid. Now, if you listen to the Chinese girl good, she um she tell her say she make a report. But she never states an arrest did make. Cause people ever pay attention to what people say now. She never sent an arrest did make. So my question is Australia is a very strict place for um, abuse and rape and them thing there. If they saw fit that this girl was raped or there was evidence to implicate the artist, the artist wouldn't go to the station and leave in a half hour. You understand what I mean? Say? And then continue to immerse and show them in the same country and then leave and there's also allegedly a, 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 a letter from the Australian um, um, the Australian police department where clear the artist of any wrongdoing see so I'm free to go and come from Australia as him see fit. See? So as I may say, sometimes we have to listen from both sides. Now, it's not my duty to say the Asian girl a lie. And it's not my duty to say um, Richie Stevens innocent you understand what i'm saying it's not my because i wasn't there you understand what i mean i said but based on the reality of what we know now she make a report police follow up on the report the artist was brought to the station based on information when we obtained um he was he wasn't even arrested. He was told he could leave in like thirty minutes after questions and back and forth questions with she and him and the police them. Now the way me know this thing if them police they did see evidence of rape and them thing that he would get figure one back. And him would get fit, do no more show and day in the country no more time. And then, like the ending of last year, them send one closure letter and make the artist know say, him good to go, good to forward, good to leave, good to. You understand? Those are information reaching me. So in 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 the case of the Asian girl and him. I'm very proud of the Asian girl to come out and speak of who she speak of. So she not left the nation in a plunder and wonder and confusion and mayhem. Now, at some point, at some point, 
Richie Stevens will have to address the public about that Asian girl situation and tell the him side of the story. You understand me, I say? And because the people them need to hear from him. Now, in the case of Tanya Stevens, no. Tanya Stevens has not named any perpetrator or any culprit. So, I don't know who for side to hear from. Only thing I know me hear from she. I don't hear from nobody else until she said to we, the public, say, a John Tom or Joe Drunk or Crypto or Cricknick or whoever just leave that alone. I'm a blatantly hear her telling us if you come kiss out her body will allow her business and it's enough. Which <laughs> I find that crazy. I find that kind of crazy, but I understand what she has said. Because she has said, if she not telling you her name, you won't ask her for name for. Kai should it choose to tell name. Then should I tell her name? Then she said, "When if you come broke off for the neck in her body, well, and them something they and don't ask her a question, which me find weird, weird, cause really and truly the people them fast, yes." And people enough, yes. And people want in your business, yes. But are you open the door for them ask? Like she has said, uh, people feel out gossip. How is it gossip when nobody never knew about the story until you tell the world? That can't be gossip. And I like somebody sitting and say, Yo, me feel like Tanya, you get raped and molested, you know. And she go like she don't want to talk and the next person I say, eh, she go like she don't want that a gossip. But you came forward and you said something. You initiated um you initiated speaking about the situation, which I think I think is a great thing if you can come forward as a public figure and speak of your situation. And shed a positive light on it. But you still would have a, you can't treat people so if them ask you who the person is because if you come out so strong, people are gonna wanna know ah, who would do this. Cause obviously it will hurt you and it will bother you and you talk about it. So why are she the person? You understand what I mean? I say? So for the same people them now, we are fast in your life, interested in your life, want to hear about the story, and want to know what happened. You tell them for them out your body, well, me find that crazy. Me find that crazy. So, she said, people I look close and I look interview, me now look no close, me now look no interview. But I think if you are not going to name the person, then... Every, the whole purpose of what you did not make no sense. You understand me? I say it just seemed like one big illusion. And she going to say, um, why you want the victims to call name? I am in support of females. Where I'm not going to rape thing. You see me? Can I go and go rape my daughter and, and, and tell me the story? Zine? A bullet and a uh, um, funeral. But at the same time, I wouldn't want my daughter to tell a lie and a man same rape her. Wonder if, wonder if you don't understand what I'm saying. Because it goes both ways. We have proof and evidence, multiple evidence, say you have females who tell lie and a man, say them rape them. See the baller over, over England, eh? Him and the girl clearly have sex in her bathroom, a kiss up romantic, him give her some backers and some something. And then she say, him rape her. What if he didn't have that video? Then would her say him a predator and she a victim? When she's actually the predator and he's the victim. 
So at the same time, we can't just get up and say, when the victim them a tell us say somebody raped them and you tell them say I lied him I tell her nothing not go so you can't just get up and somebody just tell you say oh that person raped me and you just run with it and go crash in a wall it has to make sense you understand what I say one if one if you understand what I say. Is a whole heap of people is a whole heap of people um in a them um situation there. So you can't speak so widely and so loosely like there has never been a case where a female has never lied. And a male person and say them rape them when it never happened. So although I am for females to get justice for anybody do that to them, we still have to look on it as a as a open situation where we know that females have lied in many cases so them get raped when not no gossip. Just for hurt a man. Sometimes some females vindictive. And we are not saying that this is the case, you know. I'm not saying that this is the case. But I am saying a girl just can't get up and ball a rape. And everybody hold on the people. Yeah. So as we may say, um people. Cause make a go now. A scenario, right? And this is real life. Something will happen to me. See? So, I was in Canada years ago. Upon tour, I do three shows. I do Montreal, I do Toronto, I do one next place. And when I did Montreal, there was a particular female. Sexy, hot around the place them time then. I think she was the dancer queen. Zin? And she me really like. I said, no more want that girl. Zin? And she was partnered with her friend. You know me, usually go for light skinned girls, right? But in this case, the one of me really like was dark skin. Zin? She a part with her friend with light skin. Two of them look good, you know. But you see the dark skin one, she look the way oh me want her to look. So I go say, boom and get her number, me I try her for her, try her for her. Get the other one number too. And me have the two of them I raise with. After the dance, um, me don't know where the one where me like um turn, you see me? So me end up with the browning. You know browning always love me. Go to my hotel now. Me and the brown in their hotel. Do a thing. Have sex. Drop asleep together. Wake up in the morning. Right? Wake up in the morning. My phone dead. See me call for the one that I really like. See? And then. I call her. I get her. And then she call me back. And she come back and answer the phone. So me I talk to her while remember her friend there in the bed. Lie down right as well. So you know, so panty and thing. So me I talk to the one I really like now. Zine? 